Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video on boundary layer clustering, we gave you a broad view on how clustering can be done on grids via the UI. In this video, we will be showing you how we can achieve a much finer control while clustering. Clustering tool GridPro's clustering tool can be used in cases when the user wants more authority over the grid boundary layer clustering. We shall be demonstrating the usage of this tool with the help of the piston bowl tutorial case. In this case, the user generally requires boundary layer clustering on the bowl surface. Looking at the cross section, we see that there is no clustering applied to the bowl surface here. However, the geometry is well resolved with the base blocking. In some cases, it might be required to cluster the grid not only with a specified number of cells in the block, but also to have a certain number of cell layers with the same spacing as the first cell. This is usually employed to resolve the viscous sublayer accurately. All of this can be achieved in the clustering window. Now we can specify values for the current piston ball case, in which we will be clustering only the piston ball surface, having a surface ID of 2. We will use an off wall spacing of 0.02 with 11 cells in the first block on the surface instead of the original 6. Of these 11 cells, we will fix the first 3 cells to have the same cell height of 0.02. Assessing the grid Upon taking a cross section of the grid, we see that the first 3 cells have a spacing of 0.02. There are 11 cells in the first block, as we had specified earlier. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for new videos. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave it below. Follow us on our social media pages. Links are posted in the description.